I often get asked the question, what's the difference between good ozone and bad ozone? The short answer is location. So ozone is ozone is ozone. It's the same stuff. It's uh, an oxygen molecule made up of three oxygen atoms instead of the regular two. So the first place that we hear about ozone is in the ozone layer. Um, there's a hole in the ozone layer. The ozone layer is being depleted. Now, all those things are referred to as bad things, well, and because they generally are. In the upper stratosphere, there's a, a mixture of compounds, and when the sunlight, the UV rays, pass through those compounds, a minuscule amount of ozone is created as part of that interaction, which in turn helps shield the Earth from further UV rays uh, and damage done by those rays. So, in general, we want to keep the ozone layer intact because it's kind of keeping us alive. On Earth, however, we talk about ozone pollution. Uh, you often hear it referred to in big cities where there might be a lot of industry, um, a lot of cars and traffic, carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide. Um, all those compounds can react with each other to create uh, a certain amount of ground level ozone, which is not healthy to breathe. Uh, it can cause some, some respiratory irritation, um, and you know, in, in really bad cases can cause um, you know, irritation to the mucous membranes, to the eyes and whatnot. Uh, and usually uh, the body recovers from it in pretty short order. But if you're somebody that has uh, say asthma or other, other respiratory conditions, that ozone can, can take its toll on a body after a while. So up there in the stratosphere, it's good. Down here, it's not so great. The plus side to all this, at least for the ground level ozone, is that it's depleted relatively quickly, as a fairly short half-life, they call it. Um, and that is when, when, those, uh, when that ozone is depleted, um, that molecule of three oxygen atoms gets converted back to a molecule of two oxygen atoms and it can be breathed again and it's in its natural, stable form. So then the question is, where does an ozone generator come into all this and is that contributing to ground level ozone? Well, in short, yes it is. Um, we're creating ozone at the ground level, uh, and that's not good to breathe. However, it, the half-life is relatively short. So, while it's important to take um, immediate precaution when you're using ozone uh, at, for you know, taking care of some of those smells, um, it's not necessarily a bad thing because it does have a short half-life. So you're not killing the earth simply by running as an ozone generator for an hour to take care of a smell in a car or a hotel room. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit subscribe and tap that bell to be notified about every new upload. Also, write down in the comments and let me know what questions you have about ozone. We'll see you next time.